All right, so here is the proud Brazilian Maida Bueno Silva. What a rise to contention it has been for this young woman. She fought outstandingly well in the Holly Holm fight. Of course, that result was overturned, but the promotion believed in her to such an extent that when they turned her around, it was for the title against Raquel Pennington. This is a five-tool player, an outstanding ground game. She's got a lot of different submissions in her arsenal, and you can be sure for the opposition that is something of which they are acutely aware as they step up to face Maida Bueno Silva here tonight. Well, when you're the champion, you cannot rest on your laurels, and she certainly has not done that. She has gotten better with every passing defense of this UFC Bantamweight Championship, and she's got another significant challenger in her weight tonight. She gets better every time she steps into the octagon. She understands the importance of defending this belt and defending it the right way. That's why she's, she is such a long-reigning champion. She isn't a flash in the pan. She does not want to be here for the right now. She wants to be remembered. And in a division that had so many great champions in the past, she has to build a resume that can't be matched if she wants it to happen. She's done a lot of visualization, a lot of meditation, strategization, and she believes without a shadow of a doubt that she will leave once again as the champion tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Jermaine the Iron Lady, the Rodney. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ray, Ray. for this one, just about Ray. to get underway. All right, so we are underway with this highly anticipated stand-up only clash. So these ladies got to play by the rules here tonight. No grappling whatsoever. Jiu-Jitsu fighters need not apply. You also can't do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last woman standing will be. Straight right is there. Leg kick is there. All right, first round is underway. Many people expected a big storyline, and this one would be her jab. She's got a decided reach advantage here tonight. She is very long. She is very tall. She is very knowledgeable. Look for her to circle on the outside. Pop, pop, pop. The jab, and then let the big right hand or the big left follow. Very good. Big kick lands. Nice crack there. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. More than one, more than one. Oh, Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Durandamy. 
Circling towards the left side now. Big punch land. Ooh. Big right hook. Oh. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can hold her opponent to finish her. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the show. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find that one shot that would have finished the fight. Bueno Silva's cut, folks. Nasty cut on her lip just opened up. No idea how these two women are standing. They are both landing massive shots. Oh, he left hand. One minute to go in the round. Thirty-six total strikes have landed for Jermaine Durandamy. You know what to do. That was a big check. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. All right, so that round is in the books. Bueno Silva's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lift that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cut man's got his work to do now. All right, big moment in that previous round. We're going to get you some replays. Not exactly sure what the strike was, but she now has a fairly significant cut on her lip. Yeah, she's got a big cut. It's going to be on her to move her head off the center line to make sure that she's not taking too much damage to her lip. She's got to move side to side as she's going forward and mix things up. Maybe shoot some takedowns in there. Thankfully, physical toughness is not an issue, but we'll see if she can make those defensive adjustments here as this next round begins. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes, though. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without one. Finds a home for the left hand there. Be first, girl. Come on. His work. It got checked. Best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Uppercut. Just over three minutes to go. Just missed with the left there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively, and now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, nice kid. Man, that thigh is starting to show some signs of bruising. She's almost smoking about it, right? But yeah. got to address it. You can't laugh at it now. You can't laugh it off. You've got to do a better job of addressing it and deter your opponent from going back to the well. Because otherwise, it'll just get worse and worse. Just missing on the uppercut there. Durandamy gets caught by that straight punch there. Great vision, great defensive instincts by her there as she continues to block the majority of these shots coming her way. Her hands are always where they're supposed to be. You 
So why has she not addressed that thigh kick? Does she not feel that? I mean, it looks pretty bad at this point. Well, early, it doesn't feel like it's very damaging. But right now, as the end, it really starts to hurt. It really starts to limit you. And right now, she has to address it because we're getting very close to that time where there's no turning back. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round, but not before damage was done. She was cut on her cheek from the strike in that round, and now the focus for the cut man shutting that thing and making sure it doesn't become a factor here moving forward. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot Ready continue to, to do the same thing Ready. and expect a different result. Third round underway. All right, so two pretty good previous rounds. Now another round is underway. Your thoughts on what we might see here over these five minutes? That one of these young ladies will really start to try and drive her point home that she is the better fighter. Well, how impressive is this young woman? Look at the inside leg kick. She runs her opponent now. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, that's a nice strike. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice shot there by the chance. Bueno Silva's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Big shot to the head. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, how are they? Oh, she's officially wobbled now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. It's worse. Oh, oh, she might be able to get her out of there now. It's a good right hand right there. Oh. She's getting up. Yep. Leg kick checked effectively there by Bueno Silva. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Let's go. Give me that overhand now. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot land. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Jermaine the Iron Lady, Deranda me. All right, so the Muay Thai stylist Jermaine Durandamy puts on a striking display tonight as she gets her hand raised once again inside the octagon. Really has an infectious way about her, and nice to see Jermaine share this moment now with her coaches. This win figures to propel her forward now, and in a big way, at 135 pounds.